I just want to say this was a nightmare to make, y'all. There was even an animated movie where Batman and Shredder fought. Obviously, since there's so many versions of the Shredder, this doesn't necessarily link to any of the Shredders. That's what I'm going to talk about in this vid, though. But in this particular occasion, they wanted him to be in that Batman level. <laughs> How strong is Shredder video today? Let's get it. A constant Ninja Turtles level threat for all of them at the same time. In almost any continuity, he seems to have like this obsession with cheese grater type stuff. Like how he seems to have claws all over his body. Like he's usually portrayed to have blades on his forearms, near his hands like Wolverine, even his shoulders, even his feet. The walking cheese grater, even his helmet has the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are some great fighters, and Shredder is one of the few beings that can rival them in skills, strength, speed, and etc. No matter which continuity you look at, he's superhuman in every one, although I will admit that his power varies depending on which universe we're talking about. Some versions are more grounded and believable, while some are just over-the-top mystical, just super-powered ninja type stuff. Sometimes he's betrayed to fight one turtle one-on-one, -on -one. other times they gotta team up on him to get the advantage. Depending on which continuity you're into, Shredder has had different type of technology, like the technology no drone usually they are depicted to have gigantic amounts of armor and protection just like in real life technology seems to improve as time goes by same with technology in these universes you can visually see for yourself you got the 1987 one the four kids one the one in the 2012 cartoon and probably one of the most over-the-top looking ones rise of tmnt the more recent and here's a visual representation of which one goes with which show and how they look. A lot of different interpretations of Shredder. It's always base Shredder and depending on the continuity, he have some version of the Super Shredder in the IDW comics. Shredder is in, as well as in the comics, he's still a match for the Turtles. He's still fast enough to dodge bullets, even in this continuity. In this universe, he was a promising ninja, one of the Foot Clan's most promising ones. Notice how his punching bag. He can just tear through it and throw it. Notice how he lifts a police officer with one arm. Beings that are actually bigger than him, they're like laying on him. He says, get the heck off of me. A machine this big, he can pick up and throw it with ease against the turtles on this occasion. Literally strong enough to punch through the part of a train car with raw strength and pick him up with one hand. Eat. A good idea of what his striking power can do, what blunt force he can hit this hard to dent through that type stuff. He can consistently dodge lasers. Like, I'm not playing when I say consistently dodge lasers. He might just lack the flash feet of doing so. Doesn't mean he can't do it, though. He's always matching these turtles consistently. Feats like this, even though he didn't necessarily do it, should confirm that he can lift at least 10 tons. Or one could say he can lift a big bin bell. And it's fast enough to react to things moving at the speed of light. It makes sense based on his combat feats with the turtles and etc. There's this one flashy feat of how he can just rip off weapons on a tank. Flexes out of a rope restraining him in strength. Note how he looks versus a normal sized human too. Matching the turtles in this universe is impressive considering turtles like Donatello has literally Looney Tunes feats like stopping a tank with his staff physics? And Shredder in this universe consistently fights multiple turtles at the same time. He has to have that level of strength too. It just only makes sense. Think about it. He's strong enough to deflect attacks like that that can hold the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So it makes sense for him to have that level of strength to build on their level of strength. They have trouble getting out of it. He matches them. Literally punched through a metal pipe, punches through thick wooden support, too much evidence of his power. Strong enough to throw a man across a factory, like that, that far. Superhuman stuff like pulling apart metal bars, definitely implication of rips a piece of railing, in this occasion with the turtles. Strong enough to push this large wheel of cheese over, that's pretty simple. He can karate chop through thick tree branches he doesn't have the most flashy feats because the turtles get more screen time but logically speaking he's always fighting the turtles in strength skill and etc even clashing blows with him even master splinters so his strength shouldn't be that far behind all this ain't just pure skills of course a lot of it is skills but he has to have some level of strength on top of these people fighting speed wise he's able to dodge close range laser attack fire like that even though this is a goofy moment technically dodges a laser from Raphael. he's got to be on that level physically to some degree he's even able to hold off all four turtles at the same time he even takes on all four turtles at one after the another to prove his competence like that another one try to come up to him using strategy and tactics in the heat of combat to get the advantage over that one then another turtle comes he does that support beam and he does that to get the net over him like that. He already know naturally has cutting power. You see the blades on near his fist. He has robot means at his disposal that fights the turtles too. Sometimes he uses an energy gun, like in this occasion, not just melee option, like using a gun here. Small missile launchers on certain occasions, like that. Boom, ninja type stuff, even exploding shurikens. This version has a sword that uses energy blast. Boom, boom, and it melts his side. He can even make his own sword. My super sword. A brain which can cut through anything, even those turtles' miserable shells. Almost made it. Sword can even cut through dimensions? 
and just get away that way like on some Virgil stuff. At one point can teleport around the room with his sword if he had to and he can appear somewhere else in the room. Let's talk about the shredder from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Kids show. Could be debatably the most over the top shredder. In this universe there was actually two different versions of shredders. This is like one of the most over the top shredders an actual reincarnated demon. Then you got the other shredder that's the main shredder of the verse with his human disguise that the one that consistently fights the turtles on a majority of the series. This Tengu shredder was like the one of myth and like it literally had a dragon form and craziness. So this is actually the original shredder who is a reality warper, the main one that you see them fight the most. However, this shredder is not truly human. This version of shredder is actually a member of an alien race that doesn't actually have a humanoid body. Stolen robotic bodysuit. Even though he's not the original shredder in this universe, took on the legacy of this shredder by calling himself shredder and built up his clan that way. Still confused? Well, guess what? Inside of this is just a little alien that looks like this. This body that he's in is ridiculously strong. Strong enough to break Leonardo's sword like that. Strong enough to sever this big thing's mech leg like that. Look at the collateral of his kicks breaking the wall of course he has claws bladed stuff like you can cut through stuff like butter it's just classic shredder bladed stuff that you always see him do one can say standing equipment for any version of shredder really epic slice 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 strong enough to bust free of ropes like that that's not gonna cut it it's all the turtles partly skilled too hard enough like that to where they crack the wall with the impact fighting speed wise he can keep up with the turtles who can do this to arrows that are made flat leonardo can do that the turtles in this universe can even deflect a rain of shurikens with their fighting speed and shredder has no problem keeping up with these beings in fighting speed i mean he even caught an arrow out of the air itself with his reflexes in this particular occasion he has no armor beats them all down knocks around all the four turtles when he's armored up here including splinter Boom, boom. In this occasion, defends himself against the turtle, showing his skills, competence, and fighting speed, skills, strength, and etc. He has his fair share of battle suits, which can be building size to show that, yeah, he can lift over hundreds of tons. Well, this battle suit for sure can. This Dimension X suit can grow freaking huge, like literally the size of building. Pretty clear writer intent that the writers want him to be on the level of these turtles, showing how he's fighting multiple versions of them, sleepy time all at the same time. And we look at how strong certain turtles like. Characters like Leonardo can push 240 ton boulders with his leg strength. When he was fighting this bug that one time in the big old boulder, he kicked with his leg, which should technically mean that Shredder should be in that 250 ton strength range. Turtles he's comparable to in strength can hold up on the mouth of a T-Rex, a mutated, overpowered, stronger version of a T-Rex and a regular T-Rex can bite with 12,000 pounds of four. This gives you a benchmark on how strong this shredder is being able to fight all these turtles at the same time. To make matters worse, this shredder even has his own powerful Tengu blade that has enough blast power on its own to literally do this to a freaking building. <laughs> And yeah, he had different armor looks over the years in this four kids version. Yeah, gotta respect it. How strong was the original Shredder, the one that every other Shredder would inspire to be because there was multiple different folks being Shredder in the four kids series, but none of them being on the same level of power as the original OG one. When it comes to Tenju Shredder, there was an actual Shredder that wasn't possessed by a demon, but then they just ended up merging with each other and that's where it became like Demon Tenju Shredder. He literally fought like a giant demon version of the Shredder and that's how the Shredder ended up possessing him in the first place. And then it just became one. I find it funny the folks with the least amount of appearances have the best feats. <laughs> the OG Shredder was straight on full blown mystical. There's heavy implications that in this universe it's hard to really kill the Shredder for good because he can just kind of take over your body. The body he's in is just like a vessel. <laughs> implied to have different abilities like telekinesis heck he even made a lunar eclipse aka moving the moon this occurs when the moon moves into earth's shadow this implies that this shredder had the power to move moons a small planetoid basically and this wasn't even his greatest form whatever this previous form can do this dragon form can do better but we don't know the difference between like a base form versus his dragon transformation we just know it's stronger but we don't know the multiplier or to what degree all we know is that when the turtles had to fight this tingu shredder they had to get extra forms because in their base there wasn't no planet busters or planetary threats or beings that strong enough to move the moon type threat it just kind of gives you an idea of his blast power and telekinesis to a certain degree blast power that can do that just casually destroying buildings that's effortless in this state these beings that he was fighting in his dragon state in the past and how they can do that to the clouds in the air like the whole sky can push beings through big old pillars or even mountains but like it's just like literally effortlessly
and it's Dragon State. Like, look how it blasts through that. Can literally just take your weapons away from you with telekinesis. Plenty of occasions of him trying to be binded and just literally blast out, sling you to different pillars to crack it like that. This show had way too many shredders, if I'm being honest. Has the ability to even shapeshift sword to where the sword itself can attack you. Not to mention his minions can make ice walls stronger than his minions and they can make stuff that big on the spot. Showing his energy projection on how big of a radius he can produce. Can just keep expanding his barrier that wide. Can any continuity, he can use web weapons or blades. Even when he got a whole blast to show his true power, his regeneration is insane in this universe, he's over the top. Even when the Ninja Turtles was powered up and they was blasting him at the same time, combining their ability, Shredder still able to overpower them in a beam struggle. They even had a beam struggle more than once against the Turtles. The blast power caused the surrounding area to clean out. Even all his minions got cleaned out. It looks like a very wide radius on the impact they produced. He can take that much endurance, got created in that far, supposedly remade the world in his own image with some reality warping type matter manipulation type stuff. Power which I shall use to remake this world in my own image. Yes, you're seeing that stuff correctly. All that in the background too, up here as well. You can get another angle of how much he's changed here. Yeah, the energy he can put out or produce that wide of a radius. Yeah. He even does the classic evil warlord stuff to where he has a spear and rides on a giant horse. Just from the sheer size of him, he has to be a beast. Even if without eating feats, just from the, his sheer volume versus a building, he has to be strong to be this big. On at the same time, why did he destroying buildings at the same time? Yeah, so that shredder was just straight over the top. Having energy projection, different dragon forms, different ways he can shapeshift his sword. He can fly, use telekinesis, move the freaking moon, causing an eclipse. But enough of that shredder. Then you got the other shredder known as the shredder from the Teenage Mutant. Ninja Turtles show from 2012 is animated. It's more grounded side of it, not as over the top. In this universe, he's still a rival to the turtles, still has ninja-like element. A lot of continuities seem to have these blades around his forearms or blades around the shoulders or even helmet. In this continuity, he had two different stages. This one, then he became Super Shredder. Oh gosh. And then even Zombie Shredder, but all this is the same being. He has no problem using his blades in combat, like slicing through wooden beams. He doesn't have no problem cutting through chains or just straight up cutting through the barrel of a freaking gun these blades that he uses they seem to be strong enough to stab through concrete as you can see he can make them come out manually cuts chains again here with a kunai he has no problem cutting chains cuts through a tree with a katana these triceratop type beings can smash through concrete he can beat beings like this until unconsciousness with like blunt power like you can literally see even though he's bigger showing his power compared to people in the show it's no surprise he's comparable to the turtles and strength just like even in this continuity that's just a common theme he's strong enough to break splinters staff in this battle for example flexes out of these rope binds to try to restrain him that ain't gonna cut it it's just too much rider intent. He can take repeated hits from Ninja Turtles. He still can fight him anyway. Really unfazed after being hit, fighting multiple at the same time. Yeah, like, what are you doing? One of the most skilled turtles, Leonardo, overwhelms him with strikes. In this particular, the leader of the group and the most skilled, and he's still able to kind of overwhelm him with attacks. Lightning, strike, and he's right there. Like, that's fast. He can strike so fast, literally can't see it. Speed. Are you kidding me? Death Battle actually calculated that speed feat of him cutting something faster than eyes could perceive to be four thousandths of a second, which adds up to the other feats in this universe that the Turtles have done. Because the Turtles faced opponents that actually can use natural lightning in the past, this adds up with the Shredder being able to move faster than eyesight. No matter which continuity, he's always a match for the Turtles. He literally fought all of the Turtles and some extras, Mighty Beasts, at the same dang time. So it all adds up. Even some of the folks being bigger than him, look at his fighting speed skills and etc that's something to be respected shredder is named shredder for a reason you know he ain't normal the fact that he was able to get bitten by this giant mutated alligator over and over again and his body was able to withstand all of it the same being that can bite robots in half and literally beat him down until unconsciousness showing why he's the leader of the foot clan i mean his claws can cut through shipping container door enhanced more than ever before yeah bulky and everything Freaking cuts through this fuel truck strength. Even rapid fire blades in his super mode, which is crazy. Strong enough to punch through a garbage truck. Respect, super shredder. Knocks out a turtle like Raph. 
even when they team up on him, knock out like that. The only thing I would say takes a dip is his speed because of his bulky nature. He actually slows down in it, but he got more power though. Strong enough to lift all of this up, an empty fuel tanker, even blocks of concrete, he just slaps like that. And then of course we got Zombie Shredder, who apparently got telekinesis, <laughs> okay. Or it could just simply use the force and push you away. Even with direct hits, it don't matter. Force push. So yeah, it is true that this version of Shredder is powerful. This one, I would say, was is a little bit more grounded, even though it's still over the top with the telekinesis and turning into a zombie and some super shredder and stuff. But not over the top as the Tengu Shredder that I went over earlier in the vid. But enough of that Shredder. You remember the Tenju Shredder, which is basically the strongest Shredder in this vid so far? Well, there was another Shredder that's pretty over the top. This is the Shredder of this universe that has God tier animation. This Shredder used to be a human, but then he transcended human humanity instead this mystic armor swallowed him whole and then he became one with the armor the armor swallowed his soul that's why he looks so absurd he's literally just armor a man armor shredder <laughs> best way to get an idea of how strong he is he's strong enough to throw a bunch of shipping containers off himself all of that crumbles on him able to power through like that and big beans that are like that on him get off of me they can all move faster than i can see and he can zip too along with them like on some dragon ball z stuff and another case of him moving faster than i can see straight animation writer intent straight movement speed matches donatello strikes with speed and able to react to all of that movement a cargo ship can weigh 200,000 tons when fully loaded these kind of ships this dude shredder is literally strong enough to cut through a cargo ship in an instant that much power letting you know this shredder is one of the most over the top ones in base concrete wall he just gashes open that much yeah leaves a gash in concrete and can literally just cut chop 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 this guy michelangelo he's not even the strongest he can sling two hundred thousand tons guess who they was fighting when he threw this big jump they was fighting shredder shredder should be able to lift in this state two hundred thousand tons or most folks can hit harder than what they can lift this is like the base minimum of how much he can strike because he can literally cut buildings in half with a slash even if he doesn't touch the building like buildings over there get slashed he's right here the wind of his attack can hit you that hard knocks out the turtles that can do such feet knocking out each turtle one after the other even the turtle that lifted the 200,000 ton thing in the first place he's strong enough to punch the street and tear up the street by punching it like gigantic shockwaves like that I'd even argue that they can literally level a town. Yeah, this version of the turtles are over the top. This version of Shredder has crazy regeneration, like how his armor can heal on its own. Cuts on his faceplate just heals instantly. He seems to be able to create shield, like the shield on his arm. Yeah, and shapeshift his metal in his armor, unleash a blast on fire from his hands, create all that area of effect. This version of Shredder, a freaking town, like boom it's a standard thing any continuity that can make blades that can extend that far over the top he seems to be able to make gigantic blades while fighting the turtles just ridiculousness seems to be able to turn himself into a giant drill seems like he just has metal manipulation at this point y'all he's just literally metal just call him metal man he turned his arm into a drill to drill through this mystic shield because he's freaking strong like that but yeah this shredder is over the top but guys that's just gonna do it for today pretty much any shredder is superhuman to a pretty high degree some bigger than others like the most over the top one obviously being the one that can literally move the moons like i showed earlier in this vid the same shredder that can match beings that can stop a giant mutated t-rex from crushing them with mouth bites that's this version right here that can match that one this one being a way above that one because this is the og one of this universe throughout the different continuities he's had different modes different forms like this one and he had the dragon form and this continuity he had this form he had the super shredder where he just bulked up but loses speed out of all the continuities in his base obviously tenju shredder is the best because he's merged with a literal reincarnated demon of course but the second most over the top one would definitely be this shredder right here is just basically a full-blown metal bender can make drills swords shapes out of his metal armor can regenerate and definitely has the most flashy animation out of all of these shredders like this could probably could literally punch away towns or nuke a town with their level of his strength in general beings that are weaker than him can lift two hundred thousands of tons and he fights more than one turtle all at the same time so by default he should be around that range or even better that's the one thing about shredder's history that seems to remain the same like the fact that he's always able to fight more than one turtle at the same time compete with more than one of them at the same time and even overpower them in strength speed 
combat and etc so he can use other blades swords and etc which shredder do you like the best do you like the over the top demon possessed shredder do you like the shredder that's a human most of the time but then he gets super shred becomes super shredder and gets super super strong do you like the shredder that's mystically binded with the armor like in the rise of the teenage mutant ninja turtle show that has got like animation that i need to watch asap i also want to give a quick shout out to those that took the time to donate to the channel it helps out a lot believe in that respect shredder the main villain of the turtles baby <laughs>